In the wake of the non-avian dinosaur extinction, mammals took on the role of large terrestrial predators. However, one of the most fearsome predators, and the largest of the age of mammals was not a mammal at all, but a reptile named Baronisuchus. This massive predator was a distant relative of crocodilians and belonged to the Cebacidae, a group of crocodilomorphs that split from the lineage leading to true crocodiles before they adapted to aquatic life. While other Cebacids were also formidable predators, none were as massive as Baronisuchus. Discovered in 2007 based on a partial skull found in Venezuela, Baronisuchus is still only known from incomplete remains found in other regions of South America. However, Comparisons with other Cebacids suggest that its full skull was about one meter long as large as the skull of the theropod dinosaur Despletosaurus. Baronisuchus had a long snout, although not as long as most crocodilians, and a narrow and deep skull that allowed for more attachment points for its jaw muscles, resulting in a devastatingly powerful bite. Its teeth were serrated blade-like, and curved backwards perfectly suited for slicing through flesh. This type of teeth is similar to those of many extinct terrestrial crocodilomorphs, Komodo dragons, and the theropod dinosaurs that Baronisuchus had replaced. Although postcranial fossils of Baronisuchus have yet to be found, other cebacids were quadrupedal with long legs directly underneath their bodies perfect for running. While not as adapted to water as crocodiles, these legs would have made Baronisuchus an extremely agile and fearsome predator on land. Its physical force and abilities led to great success. It was a force to be reckoned with, living for an astonishing 25 million years during the Cenozoic era in South America. While its fellow Cebacids may not have been as large, Baronisuchus was a formidable exception to the norm. To put this incredible feat into perspective, the lifespan of Baronisuchus was two-fifths of the entire Cenozoic era, more than three times as long as since we split off from chimpanzees. However, due to the limited remains that have been found, it is possible that Baronisuchus actually represents a group of closely related species or even genera through time, rather than a single, exceptionally long-lived creature. Despite the isolation of South America during the Cenozoic era, the competition for dominance was fierce. Alongside the Cebacids, the continent was home to the terrifying terror birds and the mammalian Sparacidonts. Even the Cebacid Langstonia coexisted with Baronisuchus, though it remains unclear if they inhabited the same parts of the continent. Nonetheless, it is certain that the massive Baronisuchus was the ultimate predator of its time. Its sheer size and strength would have instilled fear in the hearts of any creatures that crossed its path. Baronisuchus may have been a fierce predator, but it was not built for endurance. Its metabolism was similar to that of a crocodile, which meant it did not have the energy to pursue prey over long distances. Instead, like the modern Komodo dragon, Baronisuchus likely waited in ambush near well-traveled areas waiting for unsuspecting prey to come close before attacking. However, when Baronisuchus did decide to charge, its short bursts of speed would have been incredibly fast, faster than modern crocodilians or Komodo dragons, and almost as fast as modern big cats, although it being eight times the size of the largest modern big cats did slow it down some. With its razor-sharp and serrated teeth and powerful jaws, it could easily tear apart its prey, gravely injuring them of course, this hunting strategy only applied to adult Baronisuchus. Like Komodo dragons, younger individuals likely filled different ecological roles as they grew. Despite its ferocity, Baronisuchus was not invincible. Just like the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex before it, Baronisuchus was ultimately brought down by forces beyond its control. While the demise of Tyrannosaurus was due to a sudden catastrophic event, Baronisuchus slowly disappeared due to more a gradual event it was one of the many victims of local climate change caused by the increasing elevation of the Andes Mountains. As a large predator, Baronisuchus was particularly vulnerable to changes in its environment, and a decline in global temperature may have further disadvantaged ectothermic animals like Baronisuchus. In the end, Baronisuchus and its fellow Cebacid Langstonia went extinct during the middle of the Miocene, 12 million years ago marking the end of the Cebacid lineage forever. Baronisuchus, a true reptilian titan, once reigned over the land as the largest predator of the age of mammals. It stood tall and strong, dominating a world that was otherwise dominated by mammals. As the largest predator in the age of mammals, this scaly beast more than held its own against the warm-blooded mammals that roamed the land. Its reign was truly impressive, a reptilian king in world of mammals that left a lasting mark on the world that is still felt today.
Though it is now extinct, its legacy lives on, a reminder of the raw power that once ruled the land. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this glimpse into the past. Have a great day, and if you found this information interesting don't forget to subscribe for more.